Hello everyone, good afternoon. Today finally we finished this semester. Uh, we have to check your evaluation. I hope you will have uh, excellent grades. Maybe you don't have a good grade yeah, because you don't work or you didn't work. So, uh, well, uh, this is a review. This is the last video of this semester. Do you remember in this second semester it was English one? Um, about the first topic, what about the gradings? Do you remember? This is a review. What is a review? Is it like an, uh, summary uh, uh, about everything, topics you check in this semester, right? So what about gradings? For example, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, hello, and goodbye. So it's very important you practice your English every day because if you don't practice uh, in any language, you forget it, right? So hay que practicarlo, si no se te olvida. Entonces, you have to increase vocabulary. Hay que incrementar el vocabulario, okay? So, another, um, no formal greetings, you had WhatsApp or maybe hi, hello, uh, hey, what's happening or what's going on? Okay, well, so we will continue. Another topic was about, wait a minute, I have to check here. Mm -mm. Another topic we checked in the class uh, was the alphabet. So do you remember, it's important the alphabet when you spell every, every, every word. For example, what's your name? My name is Jasmine. Can you spell me Jasmine? Of course, Y, A, Z, M, M, I, N. Thank you. Well, what's your last name? Okay, my last name is Herrera. Can you spell me Herrera? Of course, H E R R R double R E R A. It's very important you have to spell right when about you don't know maybe the pronunciation or maybe it's it's very good for the brain like in Spanish muy bueno para el cerebro chicos okay so you have to practice the A B C for memory. For example, can you spell me congratulations? Of course, C-O-N-G-R-A-T-U-L-A-T-I-O-N-S. Congratulations. Second word, interesting. I-N-T-E-R-E-S-T-I-N-G. Interesting. Next one, intelligent. I N T E double L I G E N T intelligent beautiful B E A U T I F U L beautiful next one firefighter or firefighter F I R E F I G H T E R firefighter finally differences D I double F E R E N C E S differences, right? So I studied abecedary. Well, wait a minute, what the rules you remember? So what about the topic, the module number one? It was about personal information. My topic number one was instructions and orders to integrate into the classroom. So instructions and commands, singular and plural nouns, article A, A, and and end this S, E S, I E S, and irregular nouns. So, what about my topic number two? It was about verb to be, inform, uh, affirmative, negative, interrogative, personal pronouns, possessive adjectives, and demonstrative nouns. So, well, so with a minute, mm -mm -mm. we chat here and we checked the num the numbers. Okay, do you remember? We watch video about the numbers and what's about, for example, multiplications. Five times one equals two, five. Nine times four equals two, thirty-six. Seven times one equals two, seven. I told you it's very important the numbers because we use for age, para la edad, for um, numbers, telephone numbers, numeros telefonicos. Uh, what about more? Uh, also, we use for mathematics, right? Para las matemáticas. Yeah, mathematics are all the time in our life. Well, also we check commands and instructions. For example, instructions into the classroom. Look at the board. Be quiet. Listen. Raise your hand. 
Open your book. Take out your notebook. Stand up. Sit down. Close your book. Write your name. Read. Draw. Well, another comment. Look. Read. Close. Be quiet. Write. Take. Point two. Open. Listen. Sit down. Sit down. Stand up. Put up your hand. Okay? Well, and did you remember also we check class objects? Door, window, board, desk, chair, table, good board, bookcase, school bag, pencil case, book, notebook, glue, scissors, crayons, paper, ruler, sharpener, eraser, pencil. Do you remember when it's a British book, a British pronunciation is paper, uh, ruler, sharpener, eraser. Okay, well, more, more, I had here more, compass, stapler, ballpoint, mm, magnificent glass, textbooks, drawing pins, or eraser or rubber clips. Well, more, I have here more examples. Well, well, we have to check singular and plural nouns. What is a singular and plural noun? Is this in Spanish? Is this one? This is the translation, okay? Un, una is for one. We have to check it's a book, it's an eraser. What is the difference? Do you remember we use a before the consonant? Vamos a ocupar el a para una sola cosa singular antes de un cons una consonante. Vamos a ocupar an para una, un solo objeto pero va a ser antes de una vocal. It's an eraser. When you have plural, you don't use plural singular uh, a or an. They are books. Uh, you can check the verb to be. You can hear. You can use the contraction. There are erasers. There are erasers. Example here, I told you. Bagwells, an apple, an egg, an iPad, an oven, an umbrella. When is a is before the consonant. A book, a cup. A coffee, a duck, a bone, a house, a town, a drink. Well, for example, it's a taco one. They are tacos. Okay. It's a color. They are colors. And I told you, you had here these irregular pl uh, plurals. For example, when you say people, person, persona, no podemos decir persons. It's not correct. Está incorrecto, ¿vale? Vamos a decir people. Pie, pies, foot, feet, tooth, diente, dientes, feet, chill, child, niño, children, niños, mouse, ratón, mis, ratones, sheep, oveja, que da igual, sheeps, ovejas, fish, pez o pescado, que da igual, fishes. Cuando termina con F, for example, life, Um, golf, lobo, vamos a agregarle, vamos a quitar la F y le vamos a agregar lips, left lips, goose, goose, geese, ganso, gansos, woman, mujer, women, mujeres, aircraft, aircraft, queda igual, ok, cuando termina con X se va a eliminar la X y se va a agregar CES, ok, so, for example, with a minute, another one, crisis, 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 With a minute, that and data. I had here different, right? So, well, more. When you had just with a uh, plural nouns, just write S, se le agregan S. Cuando termina en CH, for example, you have to write ES, watches, lunches, matches. Cuando termina en Y, se elimina la Y y se le va a agregar a ES. There is verbs, stories, um, parties. I told you when it's with finish with F, you eliminate and write F. Scarves, wolves, shelves, and irregular. Okay? I had here more. And do you remember you had this one in your notebook, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, okay, we had a project with you spell. Okay. What about this one? Mathematic signs. With you have to use with numbers. Plus, minus, times, divide, equals. Okay? For example, 3 plus 5 equals 2, 8. 8 minus 2 equals to 6. 2 times 4 equals to 8. 6 uh, divide, divide 3 equals to 2. 5 equals to 5. Okay, so with a minute, do you remember this one? 
What about another topic? Your age. How old are you? I'm two years old. Now, turn back Spanish. Siempre en español es yo tengo. En inglés va a ser con el verbo to be. No va a ser I have. Esto está incorrecto, ¿ok? So, what about, what's your telephone number? We use numbers. Well, minutes. And what about more? Mm -hmm, ok. Verb to be, do you remember? Have to check verb to be. Ok. And I told you, we use verb to be fresh. Lo ocupamos para la edad, para sentimientos, para nacionalidades. También vimos nacionalidades. Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? Or where are you from? Uh, he is from Spain. He is from Greenland. He, she is from America. She, they are from Canada. We are from Mexico. Okay. Occupations also we use. También lo ocupamos con el verbo to be. He is electrician. An electrician. She is a nurse. He is a train conductor. She is a student. Okay, so do you remember? And we check also we check family, grandfather, grandmother, father, mother, uncle, aunt, cousin, sister, sister, me and brother. Check in. Do you remember? We check also, and we we did a family tree, and we check also punctuation. Okay, well, what more? Mm -hmm. Okay, very to be. And we check these names about your personal information. What's your name? Questions. What's your last name? How old are you? What do you do? ¿A qué te dedicas? Where are you from? What's your nationality? Where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? What's your zodiac sign? Okay, we check this one. What do you like to do? ¿Qué te gusta hacer? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? What's your favorite drink? What's your favorite music? What's your favorite TV program? What's your favorite book? I also we check the present simple. I had got translation. I had got. Okay. I had got a sister. I had got a brother. I had got um, a dog. And we check. And we check when's your birthday. And when when's your birthday? We check the months. And we use. The ordinal number. Well, I have here. For example, today's is June 12th. Well, it's here 12th. TH. No, uno, dos, no, it's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, no, five. And we have to check the months. I will see you, future, te veré on, in September. I have, right? So, the celebration we check too. Do you remember? Celebrations. Okay. Also, we check the verb to be here. In, for example, Javier Hernandez is a famous soccer player. Profession. Here, here, surname is Chicharito. Okay. Surname sobre. It's like in Spanish is uh, apodo. Okay. Pacquiao is an international boxer who is better known as many Pac-Man. Okay, what about the time? We check the time. This is what time is it? I have to check here what time is it. No, so sorry. This is also the uh, first uh, had got. When it's the person, he, she, and it, we have to use has. Well, what time is it? I had here examples. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. It's quarter past 10. Okay, si fueran las 12.15 sería, it's quarter past 12. Si fuera la 1.15, it's quarter past 1. Si it's, it's half past 2, it changes color white, says. It's, uh, si fueran las 5.30, it's half past 5. Las 6.30, it's half past 6. Cuarto para las, y se dice la siguiente hora. It's quarter 10. Si fueran las 11.45, quarter to 12. Si fueran las 3.45, quarter to 4. Okay, examples about this one. Okay, and we check about the routine. Do you remember? What is a routine? We use present simple and is we speak about routine when you repeat several times the same actions. Okay, for example, I had here different actions. Wake up, take a shower, leave my house, get up to school, start my first class, I had breakfast, finish my last class. I come back to my house, I have lunch at, I watch TV, or 
I do my homework, I have dinner, at I go to bed. This is about routine, right? And we use also frequency adverbs. Always, usually, normally, often, or often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly, ever, never. Also, we check here. Do you remember? We have to use, what is my grammar? Person, a pronoun, a fr the frequency, complement. Siempre en la gramática va el sujeto, en presente simple sujeto, el verbio de frecuencia, que son todos estos, verbo y complemento. Ok. Ok, what about more? Mm, 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 time. Ok, what about more? We're checking in this one. Also present simple, I told you. Terceras personas, pues se les va a agregar ese, lo acabamos también de ver. Ok, have to check. Si hay, you, we, and they, va a ser con estas. Todas las demás terceras personas en afirmativo se les va a agregar ese, ok. Examples here. With a minute. I don't have here. We did exa exercise, ok. So, vimos que es un verbo. It's a word which describes its action and sentence the doing. Well, aquí tenemos muchos verbos, ok. Terceras personas lo ocupamos ya aquí con ejemplos. Ok. Examples. Mm -hmm. Ok, so. One more time here. And also we use prepositional place. ¿Por qué ocupamos estas? Porque vimos, recuerden, donde, donde la parte, la casa, y vimos vocabulario de la casa. For example, and there is, there are, hay, ok? In, on, under, behind, opposite, between, in front of, next to. There is, hay, for example. Uh, um, there is a um, buffer in your house, yes. It's there, it's next to the bathroom, next to the study, okay? Or the kitchen is next to the uh, living room, okay? So, what about? So, for example, kitchen is between living room and dining room. Garage is next to laundry room, okay? What about more? There is there, I told you. ¿Qué significa I? There is, is for singular, there are. Es plural, ok. Example, here. Ok, so, you have to check in here. Después, ¿dónde vives? En una casa, fue donde vimos el vocabulario. Dinner, dinner room. Dining room, sorry. Living room. Kitchen, bathroom. Toilet, uh, this is toilet, bathroom. Bedroom, garage. Ok. So, what about more? We have to check. We check more. Mm, prepositional place, I told you. Mm, mm, mm. We check a lot of things. Checamos muchísimas cosas. Places, vocabulary about the cities, de la ciudad, public places. Y aquí vimos direcciones. Where is, is there? For example, one more time here, here we use ut. Where is, uh, if we watch video, vimos un video, right? Where is the, excuse me, where is the bank? ¿Dónde está el banco? Eh, eh, you have to, is next to the um, hospital. Also, we check, with a minute, can't. And this is with the quarantine. Esto ya fue en la cuarentena. Can, yo puedo. Okay, you have to use, I can dance, I can swing, I can't, negatives. I can't, I can't sing, I can't cook. Okay, so, what about more public places? I told you, obligation, have to, tengo que, have to. Also, we check about, with a minute, have to. We check obligations, yes, 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 affirmative, negative, interrogative. Okay, schools, and here, this ask for directions. Aquí es donde decíamos, ¿dónde está? Okay. Well, one more time, another one with the dictation. Also, we check, mm, mm, had got. Ah, oh, we have to check describing people. Escribimos personas. Describing people, example. Wait a minute. Example. She has got blonde hair. She has got blue eyes. She has got red lips. He has got, uh, 
glasses, she has got short black hair. She has got black curly hair. Okay. Describing people. Also, personality we describing and you use additives, right? You remember? Sensible, funny, uh, optimism, imaginative. Okay. So, what about additives and you describing yourself additive with a picture? Also, we describing clothing. What, what are you wearing? ¿Qué estás vistiendo? I'm wearing, yo estoy vistiendo, uh, I'm wearing a red skirt. Mm, red books and I don't know blue and blue sweater also we want more comparatives mayor que menor que okay really we check a lot of vocabulary in this semester or quarantine the very present 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 progressive que estas haciendo what are you doing estoy escuchando estoy bailando I am sleeping I am reading Okay, what about more? We have to check a lot of vocabulary here, check in. Then, then we have to check present progressives with present simple. Then, with a minute, what about more? We check what more? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Have to, obligations. One more time, projects for los proyectos. Vimos lo que te gusta y lo que no. I like, I don't like. What about more? Tu lugar favorito. Y escribimos adjetivos. Después vimos futuro. Do you remember? I will do. Haré. I will study. Estudiaré. I will uh, go. Iré. Y vimos el no seguro. El going to. El más seguro. Sorry. I'm going to go. Yo voy a ir. Going to. Ok. With differences. Esto es de apenas. Y vimos celebraciones, ¿qué vas a hacer o qué supones que vas a hacer en esas celebraciones en futuro? Also, we have to check all with a minute, future. Vimos el verbo tu bien pasado, el was, were, with professions. Está en expression two. And that's all finished because was past progressive. ¿Qué estuviste haciendo? Y fue lo último que vimos, ¿vale? Cuídense muchísimo y nos vemos muy pronto. Espero que hayamos aprendido bastante, chicos, ¿vale? Cuídense, bye. No hay actividad, obviamente. Ya están las evaluaciones. Bonito fin de semana.